I can exclusively reveal that the TOWIE legends are officially an item and completely loved up. Chatting at Wednesday's National Television Awards, Gemma told me, we are so in love. I've loved ARG for many years and we've always had a special connection. We have a deep love for each other. I'm so happy. We've even picked what our baby's names would be. Rumors have been rife the GC and ARG have been in a relationship since the last series of TOWIE finished in December. But despite being regularly pictured together, the GC denied they were dating as recently as Monday during a Good Morning Britain interview. Gemma is about to star in the new series of E4's Celebs Go Dating, which could explain why she's being so coy. The memes queen cryptically told me, the hard thing is we can't really show how we feel. I'm so happy and I can't really tell people. Having said that, I have been on a few dates on Celebs Go Dating which have thrown a spanner in the works. So what will be, will be, Gemma and Arg's friendship has been bubbling with UAL tensions since they first started dating in 2012, until now everyone thought Arg's first love and former TOWIE co-star Lydia Bright was his soulmate. Maybe it's the GC who will finally make a man out of the lovable big kid. But a close pal added, Arg is always getting Gemma's hopes up and then letting her down, so it could all be over by Monday. Celebs Go Dating starts on E4 next Sunday. Gemma congratulated TOWIE bosses for ditching seven cast members but believes more should get the boot. Chris Clark, Amber Doubting, Mike Cassini, Jack Rigdon, Jordan Brooke, Matt Hooper and Ruby Lacey have all gone in a massive revamp by ITVBE. Straight Talking Gem said, Thankfully TOWIE have axed a lot of the Deadwood, but they should have sacked half the cast. All these newbies think you can just join the show and get all the privileges and not bring your personal life to the table. It doesn't work like that. You have to give 100% or you don't deserve to be on there. TOWI returns for its 22nd series in March. The GC has ruled out joining Loose Women, branding the show F asterisk 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 and boring. When I told Gemma she should join the panel, the Gobby TV star replied, I'm not being funny babes but I find it boring. It needs some glitz and glamour. For my generation and people around my age, it's F asterisk 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 and boring. They need to revamp it. Gemma also had a pop at current panelist Katie Price, adding, I really like Katie but she can be a bit too crass. Got to love the GC's honesty. Love Island hunk Chris Hughes reckons he has morphed from a polar bear into 007. At the NTA's after party, Chris, who infamously compared himself to the Arctic Predator this summer, told me, I feel like James Bond in my tux. Actually, I often feel like James Bond. I'm also struggling to find a girl I can rely on. Best not let girlfriend Olivia Atwood hear you say that or yeah will be shaken and stirred. The couple's new ITVBE spin-off show Kraken On is coming soon. Louise steps out. Louise Redknapp celebrated the end of her four-date solo tour by partying with Saturday's singer Frankie Bridge into the early hours. The former Eternal Babe has just signed a record deal which will see her releasing brand new music later this year. And at her headline Scala gig in London on Wednesday, the newly divorced Louise reminded fans just why she was a famous singer before. Marrying ex-football star Jamie Redknapp. After leaving Eternal in 1995, Louise went on to score nine solo top ten hits, Ed Sheeran to retire. Ed Sheeran has confirmed my exclusive story that he'll retire from music when he has kids. ED's mentor Elton John has announced a final farewell tour, to focus on fatherhood. And Ed hinted he was already having similar thoughts. He said, Elton is the same. He's just had kids and he is just like, I want to slow down with my touring and I want to spend time with my kids now, it is exactly the same thing. Last week I revealed how the newly engaged superstar will turn his back on music to become a dad. He said, I think my ambition is going to go to zero as soon as I have kids. Glasto substitutes still sulking there's no Glastonbury this year try the Siget Festival which is held on a small island in Hungary every August. Kendrick Lamar, Liam Gallagher, Kygo and Mumford Sons have just been announced as the first headliners for the seven-day music and arts experience. With over 450,000 punters each year, it's often nicknamed Glasgow's European little brother, Brit Week for Def Havana Alt Rock Band Def Havana have been added to the War Child Brits Week lineup. But frontman James Beck Gilotti reckons rock music's glory days are well and truly gone. He told me, it's great that Liam Gallagher's back with a Brit nomination but rock will never be as big as pop again. It's not like in the 70s, 80s and 90s, Def Havana joined Kygo, Ed Sheeran and Ranbone Man and more in the Brits' week lineup.
The prize draw for entry to War Child Brits Week together with O2 closes on Monday, February 5th. You can enter at britsweekwarchild.co.uk by making a £5 donation. Rams driving his mum barking barking rapper Rams is currently battling Drake, Eminem and Ed Sheeran for next week's number one single. But unlike his superstar rivals, the 20-year-old from Syria is still living at home with his mum after only recently quitting his job at Sainsbury's. Rams, real name Ramon Rochester, told me, I'm not going to lie, I am a little mummy's boy. I still live at home and she still does my washing, the good thing is I no longer have to ask her for money now, Rams has just unblocked his mum from his social media accounts. He added, she's overprotective and can be embarrassing but I love her to bits. His record barking is currently number two in the official singles chart. From nice to gritty Craig David could be going from seven days to 007. After 18 years in music the I Know You singer wants to follow in the footsteps of Harry Styles and Rihanna and film a Hollywood blockbuster. The nicest man in music told me, there's a time when I would have turned down acting, but I'm at the stage of my career where I am really interested in giving it a go. I've seen Rihanna in a few things and heard great things about Harry. I wouldn't mind doing a gritty film role or drama. Craig has just released his seventh studio album, The Time Is Now, which looks set to become his third number one. He added, I love it that 11-year-old kids are discovering my music for the first time and their parents or older brothers and sisters are still fans from the first time. It doesn't get better than that. Katie Price finds fame Lama KT Price has already ed off Alter Ego Jordan, now she's admitted to being bored with fame. Katie was making a rare outing at the National Television Awards when she told me, I never go out to events or parties anymore, I just can't be arse talking the same old boring s asterisk asterisk t to the same old people. I'm just bored with it all. However, Katie still managed to cause drama by challenging Chris Hughes, who she accused of sending her flirty texts. She added, I went up to Chris on the red carpet and said, well this is awkward. He was mute and didn't know what to say. It's not awkward for me though. I don't give a s asterisk asterisk t. I know the truth bored with it all. However, Katie still managed to cause drama by challenging Hughes she accused of sending her flirty texts, went up to Chris on the red carpet and said, well this is awkward, and didn't know what to say. It's not awkward for me though. I don't give a s asterisk asterisk t. I know the truth. Alexandra Burke makes a comeback. Strictly star Alexandra Burke is determined to see the positives in life following her mum's last year. Since the tragedy, Alex has gotten engaged, revealed her third album The Truth will be released in March and penned in a September tour. The 2008 X Factor winner said, A lot has changed in my life in the past six months, some incredible highs and lows, but it's all about staying positive. Alex is starring on the Strictly Come Dancing UK tour. Some tickets still remain.